Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we're going to take a look into Libra's bi-weekly message for September 1st through the 15th. In this message we are first going to tap into the energies with the Psychic Tarot deck here. Then we are going to get an overview message with the Fairy Tarot and dig a little bit deeper with a traditional deck. So let's just jump right in for you, Libra, and see what we can see for you guys for September 1st through the 15th. Most important message here for Libra Spirit. What does Libra need to see September 1st through the 15th? Please and thank you. Please keep in mind guys that the messages here on YouTube are general. They're not going to resonate every time with every person. It's really about the title. If there's something in the title resonating, there's most likely going to be something in the message for you. For information on energy cleanse kits that I offer, how to get entered into the drawing that we do here for free personal readings, it's all linked below. And Libra, if you like how I vibe, you like how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's always welcome here, and it does help set your intentions for future messages. So let's see what we can see. For Libra, the first card out is the Rest and Rejuvenation. This is for a Swords energy. It's looking like there's a decision that you're going to have to make. Let's get one more card out here for Libra. I feel like you're focusing on healing from a situation here. There's definitely a big healing vibe. This light energy, that's the star, okay, in traditional tarot. Now, there may be some shadow work that is needing to be done here with shadow, but this is also moon energy. So it's a need to trust your intuition. It's also symbolizing that the path forward may not be so clear and a need again to trust your intuition. Let your intuition guide you. There is a decision that you're having to make here and trusting the process, trusting your intuition is going to be key in this decision. So let's dig a little bit deeper here into the message, Libra. I feel like you are definitely headed in a positive direction and there's a definite need for healing. Now this def definitely could be family issues that you're healing, um, especially with the shadow work here coming out. So let's see here, Libra. Definitely a sense of moving forward here, moving in a positive direction for sure. I feel like there's a need here to focus on your emotional needs. Okay, what do you need emotionally to feel stable, solid, grounded, secure? I also feel like there may be an opportunity that's being presented to you, Libra, but I feel like you are ignoring this opportunity right now. It's definitely an uncertainty, indecisive energy coming out here, Libra. So let's dig a little bit deeper. The traditional deck. The base chakra is coming out on the bottom of the psychic tarot. I feel like meditation, getting grounded, maybe even yoga. I know it sounds funny, but just having your body in alignment is important to everything else coming into alignment including your life, your relationships, career. That moon energy. 
I'm gonna get all the cards out here and then we'll talk about this. So bear with me, Libra, one second. I feel like there's a new opportunity that's being presented here, but you're looking back on the past. Spirit wants you to release the past and move forward. I feel like you're feeling tied to this past situation. And you're going to feel rewarded by releasing it. Libra, you're going to feel rewarded. I will say that. I did say that. But I also feel like you're going to feel a relief. Right now, I feel like you're still kind of holding on to the past, just kind of nose to the grindstone, ignoring any opportunities that are coming your way. Spirit wants you to release this energy. I don't see you doing so. There is a need here to kind of work on yourself a little bit. Maybe even do some shadow work here. Bring this transformation to fruition. There's a new opportunity that's being presented. But again, there's like an indecisive. This is the Knight of Wands energy. There's like an indecisive energy here. You know, you want this new beginning. You want a passionate new beginning. But I feel like it's with somebody else. And I feel like this opportunity is being presented to you for a reason, Libra. And you, Spirit is guiding you to take it. That This person is going to help you to release whatever sadness, whatever betrayal, whatever heartache you felt in the past. This person is going to help you to heal from that. I know it sounds funny, but sometimes when a person comes into our life and boosts our confidence, it has that healing effect. I feel like you're not going to be waiting anymore, Libra. You're coming to terms in September with not waiting anymore for sure. Not waiting around anymore for any connections. And I feel like this person is bringing in healing. Okay? Okay. So let's clarify. The six of wands is the bottom of the deck. This card talks about, okay, being rewarded or feeling rewarded, feeling su successful. This also could be like a leadership role, but in this context here, I get the sense here that overall Libra, you're going to feel this um, six of wands energy by walking away from this past situation here. So let me get a couple good shuffles in for Libra. We're going to clarify the reading for Libra spirit. Moon card to the eight of pentacles. definitely a sense of you've been waiting for a long time been waiting for somebody to come forward and offer you a something with the page of pentacles anything i feel like there's a particular person that you've been waiting for libra and it's no more this new person is helping is going to help complete the cycle it's going to help you to heal from this past energy that you've been holding on to 
And it may not even be a specific person. Um, it may be a perspective on relationships. Emperor in reverse. Well, that's interesting. Somebody's trying to control. The Emperor in Reverse talks about somebody who's trying to control a situation or overbearing. Maybe overbearing. This. <laughs> I feel like this new connection is a very deep connection here, Libra. It's going to be very passionate, very uplifting, but you're going to have to open up to it. You're going to have to open up to it because right now you're guarded towards this new connection, okay? You need to open up. If you don't let this person in, they're not going to be able to help you to heal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this person's going to rush in. I feel like once you start opening up, it's just going to open the doors up and there's not going to be any stopping it. You guys are going to help each other through processes that you're not even going to really fully understand consciously it's going to be more of a subconscious thing here subconscious healing shadow work okay try to let go okay let go of control just take it one day at a time one step at a time see how this plays out i feel like there is hope in the situation there is a sense that this person is bringing in healing, but there's also a sense that this transformation process isn't going to be easy here, okay? Um, it's going to be a hard-fought victory. I will say that, Libra. You're going to need somebody to kind of console you, okay? So focus on the friendship. Focus on building a friendship, focus on the balance, focus on the um, the lighter side of relationships, the lighter things, okay? Also, having patience with this process is going to be key. It's not necessarily going to be like you're waiting. It's going to be like things are coming together smoothly and it's just going to feel feel very uplifting when you're around this person that's how it should feel it shouldn't be stressful it shouldn't be anxious it shouldn't be uncertain it should just be very light-hearted and friendly so let's get a few cards out here for your advice guidance moving forward libra for this bi-weekly message what's coming forward what's the advice guidance moving forward for libra please and thank you spirit i am going to do an extended version to this reading here guys in the extended version we're going to take a look into um this person's true intentions that's coming in we'll also take a look at what are the next steps here if the guidance is followed We will pull out a few different oracle cards. If that's something you guys are interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. The link is below in the description box. Four of Pentacles. This is withholding. This is definitely holding back or withholding energy. Okay. Um, and this is what you need to get away from. If you focus on what your needs are, okay? What do you need to feel stable, solid, grounded, and secure in a connection? You're going to come to find that this person is exactly what you're looking for. But you're going to have to kind of step outside of where you're at right now because I feel like you're focused on another connection and that connection isn't coming together. It's time to let the old go and focus on this new person. They're bringing in stability. They're bringing in security. I feel like this is a, a very abundant opportunity here, Libra. So I, it would be nonsense to not at least see where this goes, right? So let's get a soul journey card out here for you for this, this 
bi-weekly message, guys. If you're finding that this message has been helpful, that it's resonating with your situation, please give it a thumbs up. All the love and support is very much appreciated and it does help with the growth of the channel. So thank you guys so much for that. Humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. There are definitely parts of life that require your serious attention. You have to learn to have fun. Don't neglect things that bring you joy or make you laugh. Besides the health benefits to your physical body, your emotional and mental bodies reap huge rewards from the art of joy. Seek out the people who make you feel good about being alive. Avoid cynicism and pessimism. Always look at your cup as being half full instead of half empty. The endless chatter of this physical dimension can seep into your conscious mind, so do your best to listen to happy music, read soul-enriching fiction, and be wary of movies or TV shows that darken your mood. Happy people attract happy people. This person is coming into your life to brighten your mood, to, to lighten your life up, okay? Um, you're needing to trust the process and open up a little bit I feel like it's difficult for you but I do feel like this is this is the beginning phases of you opening up Libra you are deciding to move forward here okay I let go of all expectations I flow freely and lovingly with life I love myself I know that only good awaits me at every turn I let go of all expectations. Beautiful Libra, beautiful. So Libra, that is the message I have coming out for you guys for this bi-weekly message. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. Again, if you want to get in on the extended version, the link is below. Otherwise, thank you guys again so much. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.